Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hi, welcome. And if you're back, oh, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club and one of their new releases this weekend. So a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to share with you all in anticipation of this weekend's release. Now this kit will be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, October 9th um, at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond level tier rewards members and half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for general release. So what do we have to get into today? This is Evening Entanglement from one of my personal favorite artists at Diamond Art Club, Randall Spangler and his adorable baby dragons, draglings as he calls them. This uh, kit has square shaped drills and um, is 56 by 56 centimeters. And you could tell that this is a square drill kit because of symbol here, blue line here. On the back of the box, there are instructions about how to diamond paint. There is also an insert on the inside of the box that will give you the same sorts of instructions. I'm always one to recommend watching YouTube videos as well, just for good tips and tricks for beginners, but whatever works well for you. <laughs> so how are you all doing today? I hope you're having a really good end of your week. I'm really looking forward to Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. And okay, so the Diamond Art, these Diamond Art Club kits come with a toolkit that varies slightly depending on if it's for a square or a round drill kit. Really the only difference is that a square drill kit will come with a pair of tweezers, which these are usually, yep, they are quite sharp, so keep that cover on. The rest of this toolkit, this is everything that you will need to work on your diamond painting. So if you're newer to diamond painting, this has everything that you need. So you have a pen, a plate of pink wax, which is actually a really great quality, a whole bunch of baggies, oh, two plates of pink wax, <laughs> a squishy to make your pen more comfortable, a thin plastic multi-placer, I think that's a four-placer, and then a clear tray or boat. And then, Diamond Art Club also includes these little stickers. There's a little bit better work at the artwork. Look at the artwork, <laughs> words are hard. So this is a sticker, like I said, and you can use this if you have a paper log book like I do, this is perfect for that. Some people will put it on the side of the box to make it easier to find in their storage if you have a stash, but yep, it has all the info about the kit itself. And then the canvas and the drills are all in this plastic well, dust cover, really. And Diamond Art Club has a really, really nice quality canvas that not only feels nice to the touch, but is going to just be really sturdy and hold drills really well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is smaller than a lot of their kits have been lately. So this is really cute. How fun. Uh, so this book has step-by-step -step instructions again, and there's a discount code in here. There's a discount code on the box, on the bottom of the canvas. There's discount codes everywhere. There's often one in your on your packing slip as well. Um, I should also mention, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate, and while that absolutely never um, impacts how authentic and honest I am with you guys about my opinions. Um, I just want to make sure you know that relationship is there. If you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and have not made a purchase from them before and would like to save a little bit on your first purchase while also supporting me and my channel, I do have a discount code down in the description that you are welcome to take a look at and use, um, but there's never any obligation whatsoever. Okay, here's our inventory sticker sheet. So we have the name, the artist, which all of Diamond Art Club's kits are licensed from artists. A spot where you can write your start and end date. We have our little draggling here. All the info about the diamond shape, the size, and then the SKU. And then we have our inventory sheet here. These are all stickers and you can 
Uh, use these if you like to kit up your kits into storage containers like I do. And these are pre-cut, as you can kind of see there. I don't want to totally peel it back, but that makes the kitting up process go super, super quickly. Now, just taking a really quick initial look at these, I do see a couple of symbols that right off the bat, like this kind of, I'll call, I call these corner symbols, I don't know, like bottom left corner, um, and this upside down triangle, those are both white on a brown background. We're gonna take a look on the canvas and make sure those don't look too similar to the point that we're gonna mix them up. So take a look at that. This is a little bit, you can see the canvas is not wanting to lay totally flat yet not to worry you can roll this back and that will help and you can also pull back the plastic cover and lay it back down which i think i'll do over here and that will just help it lay flat faster <laughs> diamond art clubs canvases um have poured glue this is poured glue it's squishy sticky it's a really nice quality glue to work on um it's very forgiving, and between that and the nice quality on the canvases, your canvas will lay flat pretty quickly. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm moving things along. <laughs> so this kit, um, I believe is 50, yeah, 56 by 56. Let's do a really quick measurement and confirm that. I only measure the drill field. We are just a, a couple ticks shy of 56 left to right and then the same top to bottom but i typically give companies about a centimeter or two of wiggle room so i'm still going to call this true to size looking at the canvas itself so the edges you can see they're scalloped and they're finished there so um you're not gonna have to worry about fraying here is the branding for diamond art club then we have a legend over on the top left that has the number of colors here, the symbol, and then the color code, which is the same as the DMC code. It looks like we're gonna have four ABs in this kit, which in Diamond Art Club's numbering system is any color code that's under 150 is going to be an AB. If you're not sure what I mean when I say AB, stay tuned, I will explain it in more detail in just a bit. We have another legend on the bottom right, and then here on the left we have the image, all of the licensing info, again, this is legally licensed from Randall Spangler and here's all their info about their socials and then info about their warranty I have had a really fantastic experience with Diamond Art Club's customer service including the significant length of time that I was a customer before I was an affiliate or really or receiving sneak peeks so um if you ever have any trouble with your canvas or your drills or anything like that, just reach out to their customer service and they will help you out. Let's take a look at the canvas itself and see what we think of these symbols. So I, I love that they are really intentional about making sure that any words that are on a canvas are legible so you can actually read what that says. Floss every day. Um, okay, if I must. <laughs> Uh, the dentist always knows when you don't floss, right? <laughs> so I'm taking a look. I want to find those sort of triangle symbols and make sure that we're not going to have too much trouble with those. Please shout if you see them because I'm feeling a little colorblind at the moment. <laughs> They're going to be more red, maybe? So here are those two symbols that I was telling you about. They're actually, they're right next to each other. And... Um, they have a slightly different background, like one is slightly darker than the other, and they're printed super clearly. So as long as you're paying attention, I really don't think that you're going to mess them up. But that's just something to be aware of, that there are those slightly similar symbols there. And um, there is also, I'm looking, and it's not anywhere near those, it doesn't look like, but there's also this red triangle. So again, for me, I don't necessarily mind if symbols are really similar to one another. I just want it to be printed clearly enough that I'm not gonna mix it up. Uh, another tip that I wanna share, especially when you're working with symbols that are so similar to one another, um, is, on some diamond painting canvases, depending on the size, you will probably, like for example, when I wanna work on the top of this canvas, I'm gonna be flipping it upside down to more easily work on these sections. When I do that, whether it's I'm putting a canvas upside down or working on it sideways, whatever I'm doing, I will take my storage containers and 
um, have them facing the same direction so the symbols are facing the same direction they're oriented the same as the canvas itself so when i have symbols that are similar to one another at least my uh, storage containers and what i'm trying to match up is oriented the same way and it makes it much easier to confirm that i have picked out the correct symbol for what's on the canvas i hope that that makes sense but um just in case you didn't know that that's a thing that, <laughs> that could make your life easier there you go. Now let's go ahead and get into the drills. So they do put the name of the piece on here. So if you store your drills separate from your canvas, it'll be easy to uh, match back up later. We're gonna take a look at the drill quality and the colors and look at the ABs as well. All right, so as always, moment of silence <laughs> for the gorgeous drill packing job that I'm going to just, yep, here we go. <laughs> so right off the bat here, we have a couple of bags of 310. Now, if you didn't know, um, well, 310 is just is black, and often it's one of those colors that people will take a closer look at to see what the quality is like. Um, if you didn't know, Diamond Art Club recently switched over to manufacturing all of their drills in-house. And um, it's a bit of a gradual transition, but most of the new kits now should be coming with primarily, if not all, entirely, new drills. And the way you can tell that they are the new drills that Diamond Art Club has manufactured is by looking at the facets on top of the drill. Um, the quote old drills were a mix of nine and 13 facets on the top and the new drills are all 13. And honestly, at this point, I can tell just from feeling if they're the new drills or the old drills because they feel like softer in the package. I don't know how to describe it, but I can feel the difference. <laughs> but the trash is super minimal. They are so, so sparkly and beautiful. Um, and I'm not seeing tabs. I'm not seeing like inconsistent sizing at first glance. These just look great. So anyway, a couple bags of 310. We have these browns and greens. Okay, two bags of 3371. It's a dark brown. Greens and browns. That's really, I mean, it's a Randall Spangler kit. That shouldn't shock you. <laughs> I'd also put money on that one of our ABs is going to be that bright lime green AB. But first, our first AB is this really pretty pale lavender. Now, um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special type of drill where they put this coating on the top that's kind of iridescent. You can see it sparkling other colors. Um, has almost like a rainbowy effect. It depends. Different AB drills will reflect different colors. Um, but what this does is it just kind of enhances and adds extra glitz to the places that it has been charted. And it will sometimes pick up some of the colors of the drills around it as well. We are gonna take a look at where these go on the canvas after we look at all the drills. So, but that's the first of four. A couple of blues. 904, 905, and then, okay, 101. I might have seen this AB before, but I'm not entirely sure. This is a almost a grayish blue. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. It's almost like a slate, slate gray blue, and that AB coating on top is incredible. I love that. Okay, let's keep going. This kit has 48 colors, which I feel like is a, maybe a tiny bit on the higher end for a, a canvas this size, but that's all right. All right, ooh, look, look at those purples. Pretty. 3836. More browns. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice big bag. Our third AB, 141. And I feel like nine times out of 10, you are going to see this AB in your Diamond Art Club kit. This is just a white AB and the coating is so good, so good. And this is just a really good old reliable AB like to enhance different areas. It's white, it's neutral. There's a good amount of that. That's gonna be great. Blues, purples, and here we go. 
What did I tell you? One, three, four. This green AB is very, very, very common in the Randall Spangler Dragling kits. Very, very often, not always, but often, Diamond Art Club uses this to um, really enhance like where the light reflects off of the scales on the dragon. So I can already, yeah, like it's gonna be in here. So let's look at the last strand of drills though. Let me not get ahead of myself here. 550, knife one, pinks, burgundies, blues, love the reds and pinks. Ooh, lots of pinks. Kind of a coral and a chartreuse. Pretty. Just a tiny handful of these last few colors. All right, so the drill quality is looking really good. Let's take a look and see where those ABs are going to go. So I already kind of started to tell you, but that bright green AB, sure enough, where you see the light green on the dragon scales, that is that green AB. It's in the dragon's face up here, um, a little bit on the arm and on the nose. There's a little bit of that green AB here in the toothbrush and here kind of on this accent piece on the front of the toothbrush holder. And then a tiny bit up here as well uh, on the light parts of the leaves. Um, the, that kind of, let's see, 101, that was kind of that slate. Let me double check that one. Actually, I I'm afraid I'm mixing up my blue ABs. Yeah, 101 was kind of the grayish blue AB. It's in here in the dragon's eyes. Uh, there's a little bit down here on these blue accent pieces on the toothbrush holder. And is there any over here in the blue background? A tiny bit in these light spots. There's just a little bit there. Um, the number two, was that, why am I having, oh, that was the lavender. Okay, okay, I see what's happening. Uh, that pale lavender AB is the number two, and that is, okay, it's actually, there's a little bit down here on the floor, here and here. Uh, there is a little bit in the highlights on these bottles here in the background. There's also, a, oh, there's a decent amount here in the light parts of this mirror, a little bit on the toothbrush head as well. And actually there's a couple of that pale lavender in the dragon's eyes, interesting. Uh, the dragon's eyes are mostly ABs because our fourth and final AB is that white AB 141. Now, if you're looking at this piece as a whole, I will tell you that essentially anywhere that you are seeing white is that white AB. So all of this floss, all of the floss that is wrapped around this dragon is the white AB. Uh, there is some of the white AB here where the light is glinting off these bottles. There is white in the toothbrush bristles, like all throughout the toothbrush bristle bristles. There's a little bit of white in the dragon's claws, as well as on the top of the floss box. The floss box, why did that sound weird to me? <laughs> and then finally, the dragon's teeth. Why are it? I, why does the dragon have human teeth? I that's what's that's what's making me do a double take is why does the dragon have human teeth? Um, we're just gonna roll with it. So <laughs> anyway, there's also a little bit of that white AB highlighting the dragon's snout. Boop the snoot. All right, so you guys, this is Evening Entanglement. I really like where Diamond Art Club has placed the ABs. I like that we're getting a kit that's in a, a little bit smaller size option and that um, Diamond Art Club has continued to license really fun artwork from Randall Spangler. If you've seen me do post reviews or um, like whip and chats and stuff where I've been working on Randall Spangler kits from Diamond Art Club, you've likely heard me say that I feel like um, with Diamond Art Club's really crisp and clean lines rendering style, that it's a really, really good match for Randall Spangler's artwork, in my opinion. And so I love that they're continuing to license and bring us more and more artwork from 
this fabulous artist. So again, this along with the other new releases that have been previewed this week, be sure to check out my fellow um, fantastic content creators on YouTube that have sneak peeks. But all of these sneak peeks this week are gonna release again tomorrow, Saturday, October 9th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Diamond and Ruby level members and half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for and the general release. So be sure to set your alarm if you're interested in trying to get your hands on any of these pieces. Best of luck to you. Let me know if you have any questions about this at all. Thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This is another fantastic kit from you guys. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad that you're here and appreciate you so much. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to see more dining, diamond painting content from me and uh, hit the like button if this video was helpful or entertaining for you. All right, my friends, have a fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.